What have you been working with, like the older guys on in particular? Um, like what kinds of stuff have they been helping you with? Yeah, I think just staying focused for me um, for 90 minutes. Uh, I think uh, maybe earlier on I've had some more lapses of concentration where I've had mistakes. Uh, I think they're just keeping me in the game, keeping me focused for all 90 minutes. Is there still like an element of nerves for a younger guy like yourself? Um, Nervousness? Yeah, a little bit. Um, but maybe not as much as the first couple games. Right. In terms of that backline combination, is there, do you have to change the way you play at all with the Yamar as opposed to Javi? Uh, a little bit, yeah. I think I think Yamar is more uh, physical, and that I can he can step and challenge most of the time, and I can cover for him. Whereas Javi and I are more similar. Maybe we're uh, a little less physical, but uh, I think with Yamar, I think I can let him step. I can cover for him. Whereas with Javi, it's either less. Than this last game, it looked like you were the one who sent that long crossover, which started in, the, uh, in that goal. When, when you do you like getting up the field, and in, in, in terms of that vision to, to to make that cross, is that something that you want to be more active in the, in the midfield in that sense? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think that's where the modern game is becoming, where center backs are more technical, and uh, the build out starts through them. So I think that's something in my game that I want to. I want to be part of my game in the future. Talk about the modern game there. Is that something that, that you've kind of watched the evolution and worked on the, you know, with guys like Wade and then here as well? You know, you're evolving your game as the game itself evolves? Yeah, I think when I joined the academy, uh, the philosophy was to play out of the back pretty much all the time. Um, so I, that started there. And I also I used to play in the midfield a little bit when I was younger. Um, uh, but yeah, I think. I mean, if you watch the game nowadays, it's pretty much all the, the best teams in the world play out of the back all the time. So. The maturation of going from back line and then trying to get in the midfield, what are your cues? When should you go? When should you stay? You know, because you don't want to leave the back line open, right? So what's that le learning? I, mean, I wouldn't say I'm leaving as much. I think it's just more if the forwards are not, are not pressing as much, then I'll have more time to start the play because they'll be with like Albert and JP and Kellen and the other holding mids. So then I'll be the one who has more time and can see the field. And then I think I'm asserting last game a couple times you you pushed up the defense for the back line. How important is that in terms of you know pushing the back line up and not staying too far in the ball? Super important because. Uh, there's, if we don't step up, then there's too many spaces between the lines for the other team to play through. So if we step up, then uh, it's harder for them to play through. We're more compact. Jackson, this uh, Montreal team has a lot of speed with Kyoto up top. They like to bring a lot of numbers forward from the midfield. Uh, how do you uh, prepare for that? And how do you contain this Montreal team? Yeah, they're dangerous in transition. Uh, I think when we have the ball up in their half, it'll be on uh, myself and the other defenders to stay focused because um, if they clear it out then we we can't just let them turn and come right at us so we have to be there to win it and keep them pinned in their half you know obviously you guys like to play uh, with a little bit of wing backs you know and alex rolled on and knew who you guys like to send them forward how much confident or what does that say about like the confidence that coach has in you and that your teammates have in you that he's still willing to you know put you in there at center back but he's still sending those guys forward yeah i think that's just the way we play um not just because of me. I think whoever was in there, we would play the same. Um, but if one of them goes forward, we don't want both of them to go forward all the time. Um, so you have to be careful about that.